Despite numerous legislative as well as regulatory efforts to curb illicit trade, it continues to thrive in the country. In January this year, 19 filling stations were found to have been selling either adulterated fuel or selling fuel meant for export. It is out of such incidents that Kenya Revenue Authority came up with an integrated command center based at the Kenya Revenue Headquarters in Times Towers. We'll see. It brings an alert. Here I met one Haron Kalechi. Um, trucks have even more, up to six compartments. But for this one, it shows three compartments. Where there is an X here is where we put the rex seal. Then it has the sensors to both to all the compartments. The authority came up with a command center that monitors all the vehicles and individuals in all border points in real time. We have a, a system that we use to track the cargo, which is the RECs. RECs in full is a regional electronic cargo tracking system. Uh, this system is a web-based system that uh, we monitor. We, we monitor cargo end to end and ensure that uh, uh, it exits the, the country. Initially, uh, transit cargo used to take about 20 days to reach the border. But with the RECs, we, we have reduced that transit time. We, go to, we are now up to four days, five days, even three days. The center can monitor a truck moving from Kenya through to Uganda and Rwanda. The seal. Uh, portrays the information to the system. Once it transits through Kenya, it goes to Uganda. They also have the REC system. So we, are also, we can also see and monitor that cargo through Uganda, through Rwanda, until it reaches the person, the destination where they had imported it. Patricia Kamau, the operations manager at the Command Center for Customs and Border Control, says that for a long time Kenya has been grappling with the number of persistent cases of smuggling, delays in transit, theft of goods and forgery of documents. So here we are able, these scanners you see here are 3D scanners. Uh -huh. They are able to identify uh, currencies, yes. narcotics or uh -huh. weapons. They can be able to highlight. From here, she can monitor all the border points including the airport as well as the railway stations also in real time. This is how we see this uh, normal tires that have been imported in a container. Yes. So you can see the image, you can tell they are circular items. So this is what we see. How? When we look at the scanner, you can see the image is darker. Yes. This means that the density is higher. Yes. So we are able to know that this consignment has double or triple. In one tire, yes. they have put smaller tires. One of the areas of KRA's operations credited with the improved revenue collection is the use of enhanced technology in customs operations, especially cargo scanning. These are strengthened multi-agency collaborations to deter smuggling at the border points leading to not only improved revenue collection but also tighter border security. Traders are now set to enjoy seamless operations, faster clearance of both cargo and persons crossing the borders, or sometimes even animals take advantage of the facilities for a free scan. And now, KRA is soon going to leverage on artificial intelligence in order to further increase border security and efficient trade facilitation. So going uh, forward, we are looking into exploring uh, and applying artificial intelligence. Uh, this will allow now the system to be able to uh, do its own analysis. And of course, these are technologies that are being embraced. Uh, we are talking about artificial intelligence. We are talking about um, machine learning, deep learning. And also, uh, we are also working, as, uh, working with the regions. Uh, to, as currently, we are working with Uganda, where we are sharing uh, the images to make sure that what we scanned at Mombasa is what was scanned in Uganda. Linda Koskei, K24 TV.